Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back and to everyone new, hello and welcome. So today I have Oscar here. Oscar says, hi aunties, hi uncles. And to those of you that don't know Oscar, I will introduce him. He is a full bodied silicone baby boy. And Oscar is the Dwayne Awake number two by Claire Taylor Dolls. So I am going to feed Oscar today, which is something that I have not done in a couple months, probably. Um, not a drink and wet feeding. He does have a drink and wet system, but I'm just going to be doing a regular bottle feeding with him because he's a silicone. His mouth opens up. So I have his glass bottle here. Um, this bottle is actually, uh, came with him is his Claire Taylor bottle. So it has her, um, I guess you would say signature, um, colored, uh, solid nipple. She, I think she pours those herself in silicone, which is really cool. And I have my, uh, KY or CVS brands lubricating jelly, um, which I always put on the end of any uh like you know bottle or passy that's going into uh, silicone's mouth um it keeps the paint protected it keeps from uh from the uh, silicone of the bottle or passy it keeps it from rubbing on the um on their mouth and and also um you know keep it helps so that you're not you know stretching the mouth and things like that so just a tip that I learned early on from watching a lot of other silicone collectors and passing that one on to all of you. So Oscar was hungry here. <laughs> yes, he was. So how many of you all um, do uh, role play for the camera? I think I watched, uh, well, Erica talked about this recently uh erica jones um and she's got a couple adorable babies uh claire taylor babies she got a new little boy over there gavin oh my gosh he's, he's such a cutie um and i guess she was asking um you know how how many of you all um you know do the role play with your dolls either on or off camera and oh i think it stemmed from um a, a a comment that was actually directed from someone in this community that i guess like was you know belittling her or whatever for the role playing with the dolls and you know we had the whole thing with the guardian everybody was talking about that and it's true like and I, oh well i talked about it too about that you know, we, we kind of get enough judgment from people outside the hobby that don't understand it. Um, so we don't normally expect from within the hobby that, that we're gonna, you know, get mistreated, um, you know, or, or judged like that or put down for the way that we collect our dolls by other doll collectors. Like you just... You don't expect that, and it's really, it is really sad to see. It really is. Um, I, I have always said it from day one, day one on YouTube and into the collecting. There is no right or wrong way to collect dolls, right? There's no right or wrong way to, you know, how we enjoy our dolls as doll collectors. Um, everybody's different and you know bottom line is you know you're spending your money and often you know these dolls you know even uh you know even reborn dolls and stuff they're expensive the kits alone are you know over a hundred dollars a lot of them on the reborn dolls you know it's not you know like people you know again whatever money anybody is spending in the hobby it's a luxury it's it's a it's a hobby. It's not a necessity. It's a, it's a luxury. So we're spending our own money on, you know, collectibles, you know, that we're enjoying. So you would, ex you would think that other 
people that collect the same things would not be, you know, judging. Um, these dolls are literally made. Like, let's look at the silicone dolls, for instance. You know, these silicone artists very specifically um, sculpt and create these dolls because they know that collectors role play with them, enjoy role playing with them. They sculpt them to move like a real baby, to feel like a real baby. They sculpt them with the open mouth so that they can take a posse and take a bottle. And they put, you know, a lot of them get the drink and wet systems in them. Like that's not there for the display of the art. That's there to be, you know, used by the collector. Um, so although that they absolutely are, um, amazing, amazing works of art and should be handled, um, you know, carefully and, you know, there are certain things, ways to care for reborn and silicone dolls that we all should be doing or, you would want to do if you're spending your money, you know what I mean? But regardless, I mean, however, you know, people choose to do that, it's their money and, um, you know, it's everybody cares for their belongings differently, you know, you don't get angry with someone over, you know, how they're driving their car or whatever's their car, they paid for it, you know, it's kind of the same thing. Um, I certainly don't think that role play um, with your dolls, the way that it's intended to be by how the dolls are created is, you know, um, not taking care of your works of art. Um, anyway, that's just my opinion on it. I've talked about many times. Um, I don't normally role play with my dolls off of camera because pro most of that really is just about a uh, time. Uh, you know, just I don't have the time to sit and do it. And some of it is just the desire. Like I just, when I make a video, I really, really enjoy. I love this. This is relaxing to me. Sitting and just BSing with you all, chatting and feeding, you know, Oscar or one of my reborn dolls. I really, really do enjoy that. Um, so I do what I enjoy. Off camera, um, I do hold them. I do change them. Um, I love, 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 love to take pictures of them. Um, and in general, I am the same, uh, way, uh, I handle them like a real baby. Um, I often, whoops, when I pick Oscar up, I will talk to him because he's, he's, um, up a little bit so you can see him a little more. I love to just lean him here. He is, um, he's open eyed, so it's like he's looking at you, so it just kind of, you know, naturally, you're like, you know, I don't know, I just talked to him a little bit like he's a baby, you know, and I'll carry him and I'll go to my husband or you know, my, one of my daughters and I'll say, look at how cute Oscar looks today. Doesn't he look so cute? And of course I'll, you know, poke until I get a, oh yes, he looks so cute. And somebody squeezes his little hand or touches his little foot or whatever. Just playing with my family, you know, it's, I don't know. I just, I get a ton, a ton, a ton of enjoyment out of my dolls. Um, but the role play, yes, the role play mostly I do, um, I do do for, for video, for on the camera, um, because it's what I enjoy doing. That's the bottom line. It's what I enjoy doing. And maybe if I had a little more time, um, you know, that I do, I, not that I don't spend, I do spend quite a bit of time, like changing their outfits and like setting the props to take pictures and stuff that takes time. So that's kind of where I'm spending my time. And that's, you know, why I don't have necessarily time to just sit and like pretend to feed them or whatever. I save it for, um, I save it for the camera. 
Right, Oscar? Yeah, buddy. I do wonder, uh, you know, what people think when they stumble across, like, say, a video just like this, a role play video of us, uh, say, feeding a doll, and, you know, say I'm just sitting here saying, you know, oh, Oscar was so hungry, he's taken how many ounces? I wonder if people that aren't doll collectors, do they, if they think that we actually believe, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have to tell you all a funny story, and I know I've told this before, but I haven't told this in a long time. When I first found the hobby, and I first discovered the hobby on YouTube, which I think I was looking up like how to seal a nipple on a bottle and possibly how to make the fake formula, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I remember, and that was literally how I just stumbled across um, some of the, you know, role play videos. And I was like, wow, grown women are like pretending to feed dolls and stuff on YouTube. Like it, I didn't, I definitely, you know what? I definitely knew that they didn't believe the doll was real, that they hadn't gone nuts. I definitely didn't view it that way, which is interesting because, there we go. Um, it was interest. it's interesting to think, because I didn't think about that till just talking to you all about that now, that, yeah, no, I didn't think anybody was nuts. I didn't think anybody, you know, thought the dolls were real. I didn't assume that they, that these ladies were necessarily, like, like, doing this all day long, like, feeding the doll every two hours and changing its diaper as if it they went to the bathroom every hour like that sort of thing I didn't think that I did realize that it was you know um play pretend but it was like a, I was like wow I would be so embarrassed to do that that's exactly what I thought I said to myself, I, oh my gosh, I don't think I could do that. I would be so embarrassed to, to do that. My, I remember my first Reborn I got and I made the, the bottle. I sealed a nipple and I made the bottle. I looked the stuff up on YouTube and I tried it out. I sat on the couch and pretended to feed her. And then I put the, the, the bottle down on the coffee table and I was just holding the doll. And I remember my husband like kind of walking past the living room and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I hope he doesn't walk in here. I don't hope he doesn't walk in here. I, I didn't even want him to see the bottle sitting on the table because I was like, mm, he's going to think I, <laughs> you know, I don't know what he's going to think. I was like, oh my gosh. Meanwhile, he could care less. Like he's, you know, he's, I don't, I know, um, there's, Many collectors out there that struggle with their families not understanding the hobby and giving them a hard time about it, not liking it, whatever. Um, and I can say I had that a little bit with my my older daughters and my parents as well, but that wasn't until I started the YouTube and they didn't understand quite like, are you spending all day like doing this or what the story was? They were kind of a little confused, a little concerned that I looked like very wrapped up in the hobby. You know what I mean? Like um, that sort like not so much the dolls or that I was pretending to feed a doll or whatever on camera. It was more so like, what is the point in this? Like how much time are you spending? Uh, that was the main thing. But, um, I, you know, that was a couple of years ago. Everybody's fine now. Nobody thinks anything of it. My husband doesn't you know, question me in the hobby. He usually doesn't even know when a new doll comes in or when a doll goes. Um, he wouldn't know which dolls I have, which dolls left, um, unless he's like aware that I'm getting a package and doing a box opening that day. But even still, like he wouldn't know if I laid him all out on the bed and said, well, which one is new? Which one did I get today? 
he wouldn't know. Some of the Reborns that have been here, and of course Oscar, because Oscar is in a bassinet, right, where everybody walks past and stuff. Everybody knows who Oscar is. Um, so there are certain babies that, that my family members know. Um, but other than that, you know, it's not, you know, nobody pays that close attention to. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad or whatever, but that is what it is. So I now totally lost it because I went off on to talking about how our family and but just, yeah, basically, oh, yeah, how people look at the role play. Um, so I didn't, I didn't think that ladies had, like, you know, lost it. But I did think, like, oh, gosh, that's, I guess, pretty brave. Or I kind of looked at it a little weird, like, well, kind of, wow, to do that. So, and now here I am, you know, doing the same thing. So I do, I wonder, you know, what, what people really think. And I think that that was the thing about the whole guardian and the whole, I don't mean to like keep, to beat a dead horse or anything. It's just like part of my conversation and train of thought was, it was exciting to think that maybe for the first time, that that um that they that a uh, media that a lot of people would see might share a little bit more about like our YouTube channel um part of it um the art part would have been great but just the fact to show that look hey these ladies are acting on camera it's it's like if you were coming on to do you know a performance or a play or anything else it doesn't mean that you get off camera and you're getting dressed up in costume and doing what you're doing for on camera part of that um and you know I know that there are ladies that sit and role play and feed their dolls and stuff off camera but it's the same thing as as if you were you know putting costume on and practicing or enjoying that role that you are playing um off camera which is fine but at a certain point in the day you take off that role and you have an actual life is what I'm trying to say we all actually have lives and I don't I've never seen any doll collector that you know just you know per, you know thinks these these dolls are a baby like all day long and like oh if I'm going out if the baby comes with me or I get a babysitter <laughs> you know like I've never seen anyone because that would be, to me, uh, um, unstable, delusional to think a doll was real or to be treating a doll 24-7 like it was real. I would think that that person would maybe need some help, that it was not a healthy thing to be doing. I've never seen not one collector do that, and I just wonder if the you know general public thinks that all doll collectors when they see them on here role playing with their dolls that if they think that we are the delusional and you know need that kind of help and is that why they're saying what's wrong with you you need a therapist or that sort of thing I'm just wondering and I'm just saying it would just be really nice to some way, somewhere, get it out there in the general public, general media, to see some of these ladies speak about, again, about the art of it, about the collector's aspect of it, and to explain that, that collectors that choose to enjoy their collections and role play with them is the same as if you are running a train and you've got the little smoke coming out of it and you add all the parts and it's mimicking and doing all the real things that you would do with the real thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's the same. These are babies. These are, you know sculpted and you know um painted and stuff to look at like real babies that's the goal the realism <laughs> you want them to look real you want them to feel real and in the collector's head 
you want to pretend that they're real because that's the fun in the part of role playing. At least it is for me and I've heard countless um, doll collectors say the same for them. So anyways, let me know your thoughts on that, on, on role play, you know, as far as, you know, within the community, should we be judging one another and how we collect our dolls? Um, I just, I think that we shouldn't be judging each other, period. I think that if we don't like someone, if we don't like their channel, um, you know, then we should just not watch them. And that there's no reason to put any, you know, tension and problems, you know, uh, in going after um, others in the community. Uh, I understand, you know, blowing off steam, sharing your opinion, whatever. Um, but ongoing, some of the stuff that we see going on here, I, you know, I will just never understand it, you know, what... I feel bad, like I've, like I've always said, I feel bad for the people that are doing that, um, that don't have anything else in their life, you know, or they're not happy, they don't have any happiness to put out there, you know. I look at each individual when I do watch people, um, and, you know, people that I wind up becoming friends with and forming relationships with, and, you know, I want to surround myself with people that um, have, you know, things in their life that they are putting out and giving some sort of um, positivity. I understand no one's perfect and I'm not perfect. Uh, I say this probably in every video. I'm not perfect either, but it's just what you do on a whole, you know. It really is. Anyway, I'm going to let you all go, and I hope you enjoyed seeing Oscar. I enjoyed, see, when I film my videos like this, I have the camera flipped. So when I do, like, the close-up on the baby and I'm in it, I have the camera flipped so I can make sure that I'm in frame and everything. Um, so it's like looking in the mirror doing this. I should probably sit in front of the mirror and, you know, that would be fun for me. But it's even more fun to run my mouth and chat with you all because, you know, I'm a talker. <laughs> so anyways, um, I really enjoy this because I'm looking at Oscar now going, oh my gosh, he looks so sweet in my arms and he's so content. He's such a good boy. You getting sleepy? You getting sleepy? Oscar's getting sleepy. All right, so we're going to say goodbye to aunties and uncles out there. And remember to treat each other with kindness out there. Um, and I'll just slip in. Uh, you know, my father-in-law passed away yesterday. So, um, you know. Prayers for my husband will be great, please. Um, that's his dad. And um, it's a actually very difficult time. I took a break to come up here and do this. I wasn't even going to say anything, but I'm like, how do I just make a whole video and not even mention to you all that we've had a tragedy in our lives yet again? But I guess you can't control. He had a massive heart attack. So um, it was unexpected. And... We got family downstairs just figuring out what's going on and all that, but I'll keep you all posted. But yeah, if you know, some prayers, you know, for, for my husband especially would be wonderful. I know I've asked a lot of you all in prayers for my husband in this past year or so, um, but I'm asking, I'm asking again. All right, everyone. Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel and that you hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video and so you receive invites to my live streams. Follow me on Instagram at PixieMommies underscore Reborns. That's always in the description of the video. All right, everyone. Till next time. God bless.